I, I, uh, I really like this book, and it, it sort of is kind of obscure because it was published in France in an English edition and a French edition, and I think nobody particularly noticed it. But it's, a, it's a, again, another serial poem. Uh, do you know this one? Yeah. Another serial poem, uh, which is sort of an acrostic in, this, in, in that uh, there's a bunch of poems that begin with A, a bunch of poems that begin with B through the alphabet. And I'm going to read you uh, some of the V, V poems, and then I'll and then I'll be done. Vertiginous oracle, against which I staggers back and detained future caught in the here and now. Defined precisely, as being ever unable to appear despite multiple illusions because of continuous appearance in the minds of acolytes. A horror of belief closes down the question that is itself answer to the frozen stamens of the pristine rose, emissaries of the vulgate or vulgar. Spit out words from under their umbrella soles, crafted by blind white people in the pink. Difference dooms their flesh, which belongs to the others, to vicariousness. Vagrant mountains, late sun like an eye, blazes through sky's parchment, away in a manger, etc. The cloud-weathered gentle hills seem impossibly close, though very far away. Mind's eyes, most intimate dream, confounding love of fun's sheer force, perception's ageless key. Virtual reverence falls from the sky Fleecy mana, the panting animal alive on the table bleats into the text, flinging me skyward, snapping me firmly into place. It's hard to be this dead, harder still to be alive to this feeling. Night and day are as different as night and day, in the mind of any language speaker, the words are mere words, and remain so till riptide relaxes. The terrifying walls of water to either side, solid as acacia wood or unhewn stone, about to crash down in mitered chunks around my ankles, like crumpled underwear. Regardless of one's precious accomplishments, there's no excuse for anyone's having been, having taken up so much valuable space and airtime that ought to have remained misty and pure. Instead, I bobs and dips like a coastline buoy whose little bells chime, see me, see me, into the terrible blue sky in which a single white gull, lonely, hypothetical, and pure, dips dramatic toward shore. Thank you, Tinker and Poetry Project, for inviting me.